Hello to everyone. I hope you're all doing well. You're watching Study with Sudhir, your favorite quality digital classroom. My name is T.S. Sudhir. Now, since I put out the video yesterday on the conduct of the ICSC Class 10 and ISC Class 12 Term 1 board examinations in November and December 2021, there have been many queries from both students and parents. So, this video essentially is to clarify many of those doubts. Now, ICSC and ISC students have the next few days to decide to tell the school where they want to appear for their examinations, home or at the school. The last date for submission to the ICSC Council is the 18th of October, but students obviously will have to uh, convey their choice to their respective school managements, I would assume by the 10th or the 12th of this month. Now, parents wrote to me asking how would they indicate their choice? It would be, I repeat, to the school management and it is for the school then to upload all that information on the CISE portal. Now, what should you decide? Uh, the decision of course is yours but I will in this video tell you the pros and cons and then you have to weigh the pros and cons and take the decision that best suits each one of you. Okay, point number one, do not take a decision on where you want to take the examination based on what your friend or friends or other students in the school are doing. Do what is right for you. Do what is the right thing to do. Please remember this because in life, you should never have a herd mentality. Because if you want to be outstanding, you need to stand out. Okay. Now, as I said in my previous video, if you take the exams at home, the entire responsibility of a stable internet connection lies on your shoulders, is your parents' responsibility. If there is a power cut, which of course happens in our country, and your Wi-Fi does not have a power backup, you will get into a state of panic, even if that power goes for just 30 seconds. If the net connection snaps in between, which also happens in our country, the responsibility again will be yours. So uh, obviously you wouldn't wish for all these things to happen in the middle of your examination, right? And the rules stipulate that the room in which you take this examination, you should be alone. So be aware of all these rules and regulations. But if you have a reliable net connection on which you are 100% confident that it will not snap, if you have a backup for that Wi-Fi connection that even if there is a power cut, the batteries will roar in, they will ensure that the Wi-Fi works seamlessly, then surely you can opt for a home center, ensure that you don't face any practical issues. So I've told you as far as the home center, what you should be careful about, okay? On the other hand, if you take the examination at the school, it is the responsibility of the school then, okay? Case number one, to provide you with an internet connection. So in case something goes wrong, all the 50, 100, 150 odd students who are taking the examination, all of them will uniformly face the same problem. So the school invigilators can always give you an extra time of 5 minutes, 10 minutes, you know, to ensure you are not kind of um, at a disadvantage of sorts. Okay. Uh, so in cases where you are not sure about the reliability of your connectivity at home, agar aapko lagta hai ki ghar pe internet connection par puri tarah se barosa nahi kiya ja sakta, tab aap school center ke liye opt kar sakte hain. Khas taur pe tab, jab ki school aapko internet connection Wi-Fi provide kar raha hai to. Lekin, there are many schools which are refusing to do so. I have got many comments to that effect saying that they are not allowing, they are not agreeing to provide internet connection, Wi-Fi connection in school, which seems to me rather strange because three examination rooms or four examination rooms mein with a router and a backup, with a good internet connection, Wi-Fi connection for a month, I don't think the bill will be more than 10,000 rupees for a school, right? So I would expect many schools to do this for their students, right? Uh, if there are enough number of students who want to take the examination in the school, the other alternative for such students is that if you don't have a 
स्कूल पे करना है तो आपको अपने अपने लिए एक रिलायबल डोंगल लेके जाना पड़ेगा या अपना मोबाइल कनेक्टिविटी पे भरोसा करना पड़ेगा कि स्मार्टफोन पे मेरा एयरटेल हो या जियो हो या आइडिया वोडाफोन हो जो भी कनेक्शन हो वो स्नैप नहीं करेगा ओके सो ऑल दिस प्रैक्टिकल इश्यूज अनफॉर्चुनेटली समथिंग विच यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड दिस पर्टिकुलर ईयर नाउ अगर स्नैप हो जाता है अगेन अगर मोबाइल कनेक्टिविटी चला जाता है वो भी होता है हमारे देश में तब भी आप इनविजिलेटर को इन्फॉर्म कर सकते हैं कि मेरे साथ ये दिक्कत आ रही है मेरा नेट कनेक्शन अभी काम नहीं कर रहा है ओके सो ऑल दो थिंग्स कैन हैपन इन स्कूल स्कूल यू आर एट एन एडवांटेज बिकॉज देर विल बी पीपल टू हेल्प यू घर पे आप अकेले हैं सो so, आप इन सभी प्रोस एंड कॉन्स को वे करके अपने अपना निर्णय लीजिए ओके नाउ There is also an opinion that is developing, and I would really want those in charge at the council to listen to this. That the council is being biased in favor of students who are financially well off, who are from affluent backgrounds. I received this particular comment, and this is one of the many comments that I received. I would want to read this out. This decision of the council is not at all friendly for students who are not financially stable. Not all students from ICSC Council Board have laptops or tablets, and not all have stable internet connection. Everyone is obsessed with those who are financially stable. So this is an opinion that is kind of you know getting a lot of traction. So the council should be mindful that it should not create a divide between the haves and the have-nots. Now, uh, see, as far as students are concerned, I all I want to tell them is that this. Entire online examination, board examinations, midterm board examinations is happening for the first time. किस तरह के system पे आपके exams होंगे, किस तरह से वो behave करेगा, उसके बारे में कुछ नहीं मालूम है. We do not have any idea about how robust the entire software is. Okay, there are mock tests planned. I am told in the first week of November, which will give you an idea about how the exams will be. It will also allow the council to test the reliability and the robustness. Of its own software. Finally, दूसरा एंगल जो उभर कर आया है वो ये है कि होम बेस्ड एग्जाम्स इक्वल्स टू अनफेयर मीन्स बींग एडॉप्टेड बाई स्टूडेंट्स एक मानना है ओके आई नो ए मेजोरिटी ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑप्टिंग फॉर होम एस सेंटर फॉर थ्री रीजन वन मेरे को अपने नेट कनेक्शन और बैकअप पे पूरा भरोसा है आई विल बी मोर कंफर्टेबल एट होम नंबर टू फॉर सेफ्टी रीजन आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो टू द स्कूल थर्ड I can do some goal mal hai, bhai. Sab goal mal hai. I can do that. Fourth, ek aur hai. Fourth, ye hai ki agar main school pe jata hu, dusra banda ghar pe karta hai, shayad uske marks jada jayenge because he can adopt unfair means. So let me be also doing the same thing. So four reasons ki wajah se there are many students who are opting for the home center, right? Now in the letter, the council said that the choice of whether you want to opt for home or school. is entirely on the students i don't i think this council has decided this because it doesn't want any parent to go to the court and like in 2020 get embroiled in court cases all over again i think that's really the reason and because that will end up jeopardizing the entire exam procedure itself so keeping all these factors you need to take a call yesterday a parent told me perception matters perception matters and she said that my daughter will take the exam in school because in her opinion in 96 and this is the opinion of many other parents also in 96 code at a school center will have more value than a 100 scored in a home center perception ki baat hai okay uh, so different people look at it differently you decide what is good for you aap log kafi samajhdar hai thank you very much for watching